The pressure continued to mount on Justin Trudeau over the demand for personal financial data by Statistics Canada. The government agency wants access to a large sample of Canadians' banking information, credit rating information, telephone bills, power bills, all without your consent for a use we haven't yet had clarification on. That will hopefully change now with the Chief Statistician for Statistics Canada, Anil Arora, joins me in the studio. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Why exactly do you need all this? It wasn't, you know, it wasn't that long ago having a long form census was enough. What, what possible public policy reason do you want all this information for? Well, we at Statistics Canada, as you know, don't need it for ourselves. We want to be able to provide Canadians, businesses, decision makers, the best information of what's happening today. The fact is that 75%, if not more, of all Canadians now transact online. I mean, when was the last time you wrote a check or got out, you know, cash out of your pocket to pay for something? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is something, this is where Canadians live and they transact today. So for an agency like Statistics Canada, you know, we can't be stuck with just paper and pencil. We have to go to, you know, where the needs are. This is the only way that we can provide good, timely information and to fill some of the important gaps in our economic understanding. Well, before I started banking online, were you looking around my bank book at that point in time? I and mean, why do you need this information now? Well, look, you know, we've had uh, surveys that actually go to people. They've had a diary that they've got to keep in terms of every expenditure mm -hmm. that they've made. And what we found, just like we've seen an explosion, if you like, of working in the digital world, what we've seen is a significant reduction, if you like, uh, in the response rates. You know, people aren't, aren't home, they're busy, they don't have phones anymore. So it's getting very, very difficult. And so when that happens, you know our ability to be able to tell Canadians about what's happening in the economy. How is it that we're now conversing in the digital economy? How many households partake in that particular economy? What is the amount of leveraging of debt that you've got in a housing you know, uh, uh, situation mm -hmm. in this country? I mean, we have to go to where the data are, but what, what Canadians need to be assured is that the privacy and the confidentiality, uh, confidentiality of the information they give us is exactly the, the, the same as we've done for 100 years. It doesn't matter how we collect it, that assurance is still there. Well, one point I want to make, the Canada's Privacy Commissioner, uh, Daniel Terrian, uh, has agreed to take a second look at this. If he comes back and says, no, you shouldn't be going there, this is a violation of privacy, even though you guarantee you're going to protect that information, do you call all this down? Do you stop trying to collect this info? Well, first of all, you have to know that, you know, for a year, we've been working with the privacy commissioner's officials. They have been fully in touch uh, with what, what, what it is that we're projecting to do mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, how we've taken their recommendations into account. We've gone even above and, uh, you know, beyond sort of our regular privacy impact assessment. We've done a, a supplementary privacy impact assessment. You know, if, if he, you know, in fact, I wrote to him yesterday and said, look, if after a year working with you and your officials, you know, we've missed something, or if we can go even further to provide Canadians with the assurance of privacy and security that's involved with these data, come on down. Let's have a look. Go deeper into it, and we'll certainly take your, your suggestions into account. You take it's into account enough to cancel this search well, and find? Look, let's let let's let him do his job. Okay, uh, you know, I mean, our job, remember, is to make sure that we provide good quality and representative information to Canadians. So, look, you, we, we also have to know the, the, the negative side of this, right? So mm -hmm. if we say, no, you know, our statistical agency should really, you know, only... Uh, measure what's going on for a fraction of the Canadians and that to not where and how they're doing their business today, well then, you know, we all lose, okay? So this is the only way that we can now go back to Canadians and give them timely data to be able to tell them what's happening that's, that's real and what's happening now. See, I'm, I don't know if I'm reading the releases right, but it sounds like the Canadian banking industry was caught somewhat by surprise. They thought you were in very exploratory moves on this, not going far, as far as you are. Why didn't you bring them into the loop a lot closer before you, this well, all came out? You know, uh, they've, been a, they've been a good stakeholder with us through the, through the course of the year. We've mm -hmm. been working with uh, the, the, the Canadian Bankers Association for the, for the full year. We want to understand, and that's exactly what we're still doing. You know? So this, this project is still in the development phase. We're, we haven't collected a single uh, you know, a, a, a record yet. So we've been working with them to say, what are the issues to be able to try to provide these kind of data to us? Mm -hmm. We've been giving them the kind of assurances, uh, you know, working with the, with the privacy commissioner saying, 
when you when we get that data from you, this is how we can we're going to essentially strip off all the identifiers off of it. This is how we're going to work. Why with doesn't it. the bank do that? Well, look, you know, the bank has all sorts of transactions, mm -hmm. and they use that information to do you know their own marketing. They do all sorts of things themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, this isn't my job to be you know seeing that's somebody else's job to do that. My job is to create good quality statistics that are economy, our policymakers and Canadians demand of us today. I, I guess uh, I'm concerned because there have been privacy breaches uh, across the spectrum. Governments, even the spy agencies have received attempted cyber security breaches. And, and I don't know what makes Tax Canada so confident that it's found the one system to protect us, our privacy, that no one can breach because there's always a first. And, and how do you have that? How can you share that confidence? People are very concern that this information is going out the door with their names on it, without their consent. Uh, why are you doing it that way? Well, look, this is our 100th year anniversary, mm -hmm. okay? So 100 years of existence. And cybersecurity has been around 100, for about 20. <laughs> and, and you know what? So we've dealt with, in, in the cyber world, we've done, dealt in the physical world. You know, this is what Statistics Canada does. A single record, doesn't matter how it comes in with consent, without mm -hmm. consent, on paper, electronically, whatever it is, the instant that it lands in our facility, physically or electronically. We have processes that are world leading. In fact, we've developed some of the processes the rest of the world uses mm -hmm. in terms of how do you actually you know, get rid of the kind of personal identifiers and isolate them. The kind of checks and balances that you put in place. We deal with the most sensitive data that Canadians have and they trust us and that's what we've been doing for 100 years. This is not something new to us. And in fact, like I said, because we knew about the sensitivity of this, we invited the, 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 the Office of the Privacy Commissioner and said, look, above and beyond this, what else should we do? If the and we've say, got those recommendations implement, implemented. If the banks say we're not playing your game, can they do that? Well, look, the Statistics Act, and that's not different than in other countries, Statistics Acts all over the mm -hmm. modern world give statistical agencies the authority to go get the kind of information so that at the end of the day, the data that we come up with is useful and you can count on the quality of the information that it represents people. So mm -hmm. this is nothing new. This is something that we've been doing forever. Mm -hmm. And as I said, that assurance of confidentiality and privacy protection is not only ingrained within the culture of Statistics Canada, but it's actually enacted in the Statistics Act. Hmm. All right, Mr. Roy, we'll see what happens. It's a source of some controversy. Thanks for joining us, appreciate it. Thank you very much.